hello guys. Um, this is the second method uh, to solve simultaneous equations by eliminated or algebraic method. The both things are the same, but they will ask you in the question you have to solve by eliminated one or the graphical one or algebraic one or substitution one. So you have to decide and uh, which method you think is the easiest one. Just uh, try that one. So now in here, they has uh, given just to uh, use eliminated or algebraic method. Why we are saying algebraic? Because they all are al in algebra like uh, x, y terms and then uh, we, you can add or subtract or multiply or divide because uh, when you divide in algebraic expression and then the equation bit change. But you have to use in both sides what equation you are using. Uh, this is the first uh, one. Uh, if I write down in question, yeah, the first uh, one says it x plus y equal 12 and second say x minus y equals 2. So now we have in here again we have two equations. This is the first one. This is the second one. Now this is, this is very easy. How why why is very easy? Because you can see there's nothing with that, nothing with that, nothing with that, nothing with that. They all are single. They have a positive and negative sign also. Doesn't matter whatever else on the right hand side. But you have to stick on variables, x and y variables. Now we have to find out the value of x and y by using algebraic and eliminative method. So this is the easiest one, it is the easiest question. So now we have two equations. Now you can see that which operation you apply on these two one equations. If you apply, you can see one is a positive value, one is a negative value. If you add both equations, when you're adding both equations, then you can get rid of easily y. The equal sign, obviously, whatever else values on the equal sign after it, they will stay on that side, right hand side, whatever is on the left hand side, they must be still remains on the left hand side. I will use in both side and then uh, with which method you think is the easiest you can select that one in here i will write down in here adding equation one and two we will get because we haven't done on here anything so so we will get, when you are adding, adding means the sty, sign, whatever sign is still remains same. Whatever sign is still remains same. Whatever sign still remains same when the plus sign comes up. If the negative sign comes up, then sign changes. When you adding, x add x. Algebra, like term, adding. That becomes 2 of x y minus y that cancel because the both have opposite sign in here 12 add 2 becomes 14 now you see in here 2 is multiply you which operation you do divide by 2 this side and divide by 2 that side you will get x is equal to 7 this is value you can easily get secondly I will just uh, write down in here, just like you are adding. So I can write in another, another way. So this is left hand side. Left hand side add to left hand side. So x plus y plus x minus y equals right add to right. 12 add 2. Now you can see x and x that becomes 2 of x. y, y cancel that becomes 14. So you can divide by 2, both sides, same operation. So 2, 2 cancel, 2, 7s are 14. So x is equal to 7. We go either way. Whatever thing 
easiest just try that one so secondly now we go the value of x if we multiply subtract value when you subtract then sign will be changes now we can say that subtract equation 1 and 2 so when you subtract that sign change that sign also change that sign also change when there's a minus minus that become positive minus still as it is plus minus that cancel y minus minus give you a plus sign and that becomes 2 of y equal 10 because 12 take away 2 is 10 so divided by 2 2 so y is equal to 5 this is the value of that one so now we in another way we have to write down just in here so first equation take away second one so first equation x plus y minus second equation x minus y right equal sign 12 minus 2 so x plus y minus i multiply inside so that become minus x minus minus plus y equal 10 so this is positive negative cancel plus plus 2y equal 10 divide by 2 and 2 files are 10 two twos goes y is equal to 5 so the x and y values we get x and y we get what is the value of x is 7 and y is 5 if they ask you can you check your answer you can check easily by putting these value in the any one of equation if i select in first equation to check So x plus so what is the value of x is seven. What is the value of y is five. Seven plus five is twelve equal to twelve. So it means our check done. So how we solve these by eliminated method or algebraic method. that was very simple one so now i will uh, give you another example of the harder question This is x plus seven y equals six. Three x minus y equals minus four. This is first equation. This is second equation now. So now in here you see in the previous one that was very easy. So in here the x has one coefficient multiplier. X has three coefficient multiplier. Y has seven and minus one. Whatever else is ignore it. So now in here we have to make it equal one of thing equal variable. If you selecting x then you have to make it equal to x this one so you are multiplying by by 3 whole equation if you need to make y equal then you have to multiply that second equation by 7 to make it 7y so now which operation we use we will do multiply 
इक्वेजन टू बाय सेवन या देन वी विल गेट द थर्ड इक्वेजन फर्स्ट वी टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय सेवन सेवन टाइम दिस इज राइट ऑन सेवन थ्री एक्स माइनस वाई इक्वल माइनस फोर On both side you multiply, so write down your both side. So you will get when you multiply, you will get the third one equation. That becomes twenty one x minus seven y equal minus twenty eight, and that becomes three equation. Which three? Because this two equation is linked to third one. Now we bring third second in the form of third now we need to select first and third to whatever equation we use now you see in here x plus 7y 21x minus 7y which operation we use we will add values so add equation 1 and 3 So we will get which value we will get when you adding these values. So x plus twenty one that becomes twenty two of x plus seven y and minus seven that cancel equal six add twenty eight which becomes minus twenty two and divide by twenty two. So x. Equal minus one. This is the value of x. Got it here. Now we are moving to the second part. So we need to change another thing, and we can do substitute that value in any one of equations. So we can do like that, and substitution as well comes up in here. We can do that in here. We will write down in here and substitute. substitute so put in any one of the equation i put in number 1 so when x is minus 1 then put in number 1 so let's see in here look first i write on x x minus what is the value of x is minus 1 so instead of x there become minus 1 So one goes on the other side because we are adding. You can write down here add minus one both side. So that becomes seven. Y equal to six plus one. Seven y is equal to seven, and y is equal to one. Why? Because multiply divided by seven on both side. So now in here you can see, you find the value of x and y. So if I write down here, what is the value of x and y? X and y, we got minus one and one. This is our answer. If they are asking, check your answer, then you need to check. Select any equation. Select uh, number two. Check for equation two. Right. So equation two is three x minus y equal to minus four. So what is the value of x is minus one. What is the value of y is 
plus 1. So minus 3 times, uh, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, minus times 1 is minus 1. Both negative, so sign negative, value added. So this is our check done also. Now we are using another method, same question, but we have to substitute that value in the other equation. So I will use the same question by substitution. And you will see the answer still remains same. How we can substitute? We just uh, make equation x as a subject. Make x is a subject of which equation? Equation 1. Then put in equation 2. First of all, we need to find our x as a subject, first equation, in this one. So, the x plus 7y equals 6. 7y equals 6, we have to subtract 7y this side, 7y that side. So, that cancels. So, x is equal to minus 7y. This is the value. I can write under here x is equal to minus 7 y and then we see plus 6 plus 6 this is the equation of 3 now we are putting that thing in number 2 equation in this equation Number 2 is this one, I can write down first, 3, x, what is the value of x is, now you can see, first of all write down x and then I will do it, so 3, what is the value of x is, we found already, which is minus 7y plus 6, right? And then minus y our side and so this value is multiplied so 3 times minus 7 give you minus 21 y 3 times 6 give you plus 18 and minus y equal minus 4 so minus 21 and minus 1 they become minus 22 of y plus 18 equal minus 4 so you need to subtract minus 18 on both sides you will get minus 22 while remaining here because 18 cancel 18 minus 4 minus 18 both are negative negative sign 4 at 18 is 22 so minus 22 so you need to divide by minus 22 on both sides minus 22 and minus 22 divide when you divide it so only y remaining here equal that remaining only 1 so y we got is 1 so now this y is 1, we have to put in equation 3. When you are putting this value in equation 3, we will get the value of x. So x equal minus 7 y plus 6, right? Minus 7 y value is 1 minus 7 plus 1 so minus 7 plus 1 give you minus 1 
so we got x is equal to minus 1 hence we can say that hence x coordinate y coordinate equals to x values minus 1 and y is 1 this is the answer and you can check also these values so this is the substitution one so we have done all the simultaneous equation by graphical eliminated algebraic and substitution method so i hope you like that video and if you have any question Please write down in the comments. Uh, thank you.